So let's talk a little bit about IE9 on the phone. So if you haven't had a chance to see it, uh, you should go watch the keynote. I'll, I've got my phone here. I'll be happy to show you guys some demos in a couple moments. So we implemented support for the, some of the most popular, I talked about this a little earlier. We sat down and we said, what do, we, what do people building mobile websites really need? There's HTML5 stuff, there's standard stuff. So we broke it down into these categories. So under media and graphics, right, I mentioned this before, we have HTML5 Canvas, right, HTML5 Video, SVG, HTML5 Audio, H264, H264 Video available on the phone, which uh, Joby uh, demoed in the, in the keynote. Uh, under cascading style sheets, under CSS, we implemented 2D transforms, uh, we implemented backgrounds and borders, the forms, uh, the font stuff, uh, the big thing for um, mobile developers, obviously, media queries. We have full support for media queries, uh, full support for the viewport tag. Uh, and then below uh, are additional standards that we felt were really important for things like mobile web application developers, right? So we went back and we implemented the DOM, right, level two and level three core, uh, the traversal and range modules, the events modules, right, so the, all the, the cross-platform events now work. Uh, we went back and implemented the HTML style module, uh, geolocation, right now in uh, in IE9. Mode. Yes, geolocation. Yes or no? Let's talk about it. Uh, ECMAScript 5. ECMAScript 5 adds a whole bunch of new uh, great things uh, for working with uh, scripting uh, objects and tasks. Uh, if you go to the IE9 test drive on um, on our site, if you go to uh, ietestdrive.com, uh, we have uh, fully coded examples that you can download and take a look at that exercise a lot of the technologies that I have listed. Uh, again, it's free to download. Um, it runs in both the platform preview. It'll run on the IE9 RC. And later this year, uh, when we release uh, IE9 on the phone, uh, we'll have we'll have examples for you uh, as well on that. Oh, data URIs. Big thing we added there too. We took data URIs with well, those four gigabytes. No more 32K stuff. Four gigabyte data URIs. So, all right. So. What are some of the key IE9 global features? So I mentioned this a little bit earlier when we talked about IE9. So one is minimal browser Chrome, right? It follows the principle of letting the sites shine through, right? We wanted to make your sites front and center in the browser <coughs> on the phone. Uh, hardware accelerated HTML5. So anything that gets rendered, right? Whether it's video or text, the camera stuff, all of that is accelerating. The same acceleration that we're taking advantage of on the desktop we're doing that same kind of GPU accelerated performance work on the phone as well. So you'll have fast sites on the desktop, you'll have fast sites on the phone. It'll work on, it'll work just great both places. Uh, we went back and we revamped our JavaScript engine. It's called Chakra. That's the latest release of the IE9 JavaScript. Uh, it's orders of magnitude better performance. It's a it's a really modern scripting engine that's that's going to be shipping on the phone as well. It's in IE9 on the desktop. It'll be available on on to you on the phone. And then interoperability is through say markup. You'll hear us use that phrase again and again. We're really placing a heavy emphasis on making sure that when you build a website, whether it's for the desktop, whether it's for mobile, you'll be able to use the same markup across across browsers. You won't have to you know, change your markup for, uh, for interoperability purposes. Some other support for Kiva technologies, I, I mentioned some of these. Uh, we included full support for the viewport meta tag. The viewport tag, if you're not familiar with it, basically this is how your website controls how it's laid out on the mobile phone browser, right? Uh, you can control things like whether or not the user can pinch and zoom, uh, what the width of the screen is, that kind of stuff. So we have full support for that. In the, in the uh, current version of Windows Phone, there's only a few properties to support on the viewport. In coming in 99, all of the properties that are defined for the viewport tag will be supported. Uh, geolocation, I mentioned this, I'll mention it again because I'm pretty excited about it. If you want to build websites that use location, uh, you, know, you can now do that. It'll be off the navigator object just like it is for everybody else. Uh, the user can, of course, control whether or not they want to expose location. Your application can ask for the location of the user. They'll be told there's some, uh, they have to consent to that. They can, they can optionally say, yes, this, don't, this, this site gets to remember that I given it permission for location, so that's a great thing. CSS media queries, all of the CSS media query properties are now supported on IE9 on Windows Phone. And we know that's a big deal, yeah, I know I'm excited about it too. 
it's a really great thing to see. Uh, so CSS media queries, if you're not familiar with them, basically it's a way of applying styles to page elements based on what the physical uh, characteristics of the device are. So things like screen width, what its color resolution is, right? Um, things like that. Uh, data URIs, I mentioned these. Um, data URIs are a way of embedding data directly in the web page. The reason why these are great on Windows Phone or uh, in the mobile context in general is because it allows you to do things like reduce the number of HTTP requests that go between the mobile browser and the web server, which is one of the big areas of latency that developers have to deal with when they're building mobile web applications. So by using data URIs, you can now embed things like images, like script, like styles, directly into your web page to reduce those kinds of requests. And uh, I mentioned before, we, we lifted the limit on those. They can now be as large as four as four gigabytes. Uh, not that you should do that, obviously, but you know, we, we, we es es uh, essentially removed the upper limit on how big those things can be. And then finally, DOM local storage. This is a big request we got. Uh, DOM local storage is, think of it as a way to store persistent data on the client without having to use cookies. Now, you can still use cookies. The problem with using cookies, though, is that cookies, number one, get sent to and from the server on every request, right? They're limited to about 4K. And a uh, little trivial thing about cookies, unless your site is entirely SSL, those get sent as clear text. So uh, I can imagine that there's situations where you might not want clear text uh, data content being sent across the wire, right? So DOM local storage, once you get around that, uh, we now support that by E9 on Windows Phone. Uh, so another example of our standard support. All right. Uh, let me take a take a quick.